if a b c and d are consecutive natural numbers and a cube equals to b cube plus c cube plus d cube then what is the least value of a so we have been given that a b c d are consecutive natural numbers such that a cube is equals to b cube plus c cube plus d cube that means sum of the cubes of three natural numbers is equals to the next number then what is the least value of a so to solve this problem let us start with a variable x and say that the numbers values we will give it to them let us say c is x d is x minus 1 b is x plus 1 and a is x plus 2 now we have we can see that a b c d are now consecutive natural number so we have taken that the difference between them is equals to 1 now what is the condition they have given us they have given us that a cube is equals to b cube plus c cube plus d cube let us substitute the values we will have x plus 2 whole cube is equal to x plus 1 whole cube plus x cube plus x minus 1 whole cube we know what is the formula for x plus y whole cube i'll write it down here x plus y whole cube is given by x cube plus y cube plus 3x square y plus 3xy square now that formula we will be using here so on the left hand side i will have x cube plus 8 2 cube plus 3 into x square into 2 6x square plus 3 into x into 2 square that is 12x is equal to x cube plus 1 plus 3x square plus 3x plus x cube plus x minus y whole cube when i do that x minus y whole cube it will become x cube minus y cube minus 3x square y plus 3xy square so let's write it down that is x cube minus 1 minus 3x square plus 3x now let us simplify on both the sides on the left hand side we'll have x cube plus 6x square plus 12x plus 8 and on the right hand side we will have 3x cube 1 and 1 will cancel 3x square will cancel 3x cube plus 6x let's go to the next step in the next step we'll try to bring all the terms to one side to the right side and we will write it as 2x cube minus 6x square 12x will go to that side will become minus so minus 6x minus 8 equals to 0 i can divide this whole thing by 2 x cube minus 3x square minus 3x minus 4 now we want to find out the values of x we need to factorize this cubic equation now the factors we know will be coming from this term constant term because the coefficient of x cube is 1 so it will be either plus or minus 1 or plus or minus 2 or plus or minus 4 so these are the only options we have so if i take x equals to 1 then x minus 1 will be 0 natural numbers we said so we cannot do that if i take x equals to 2 then x minus 1 will be 1 so are we saying 1 cube plus 2 cube plus 3 cube is 4 cube no right so let's go to x equals to 4 and see what happens if i put x equals to 4 then my numbers will be 
5, 4 and 3. Let us check whether 3 cube plus 4 cube plus 5 cube equals to 6 cube. On the left hand side we will have 27 plus 64, 91 plus 125, 216. On the right hand side also we have 6 cube that is 216. So we can see that LHS is equals to RHS that means the value of X 4 is correct. So the least value of A is 6. Now let us say suppose the question is changed a little bit and we have been given that A is not there. Only B, C, D are consecutive natural numbers such that A cube equals to B cube plus C cube plus D cube. Then what is the least value of A? So they haven't told us that A, B, C, D are consecutive natural numbers. We have been just given that B, C, D are consecutive natural numbers. So in that case what we will do? We will start like what we have done earlier. We will start with C equals to X and B equals to X plus 1 and D equals to X minus 1. So what we got earlier when we did B cube plus C cube plus D cube is we will have X plus 1 whole cube plus X cube plus X minus 1 whole cube. Now let us try to expand this. We will have x cube plus 1 plus 3x square plus 3x plus x cube plus x cube minus 1 minus 3x square plus 3x. Now try to simplify this. We will have 3x cube plus 6x. Now the number whatever we are looking at a cube is given by 3x cube plus 6x. Now can I take 3 common there? In that scenario I can write it as 3 into x into x square plus 2. If A cube is a perfect cube then 1 3 we have here. Now the product of x and x square plus 2 should give us 3 square. Now then only a cube will become a perfect cube. That means a cube can be written as 27 into some numbers, natural numbers 27 into p into q. And we also know that p and q should be again perfect cube because 27 is 3 cube. Then whatever number I am having here, this should be m cube. Then only a cube will be a perfect cube. So. What are our options? Let's have a look at that. So we can have 27 into 1 cube. We can have 27 into 2 cube. We can have 27 into 3 cube. Let us see. The first one is 27. We know that 3 cubes if you add them we will not get 27. Now 27 into 2 cube is 216. Now can we add the cubes and see whether we will get 216. For that we will write down. 1 cube is 1, we know that. 2 cube is 8. 3 cube is 27. 4 cube is 64. 5 cube is 125. Now you club 3 cube plus 4 cube plus 5 cube, you are getting 216. That is nothing but equals to 6 cube. So the least value of A will be equals to 6. Now suppose the question is changed as B, C, D are consecutive even natural numbers such that A cube equals to B cube plus C cube plus D cube then what is the least value of A? If we have been given that B, C, D are consecutive even natural numbers and A cube equals to B cube plus C cube plus D cube then what is the least value of A? So you can try that problem. Your answer should be 12 or A cube will be 12 cube. You can check that out. So let's have a recap of this. How we have solved this problem. The first problem what they have given us. They have given us that A, B, C, D are consecutive natural numbers and A cube equals to B cube plus C cube plus D cube. Then what is the least value of A? 
we have taken c as x d as x minus 1 b is x plus 1 and a is x plus 2 we supplied the values to the condition a cube equals to b cube plus c cube plus d cube we got a cubic equation we tried to factorize it you can also use synthetic division and you can try to find out the factors you will get x minus 4 into x square plus x plus 1 and x square plus x plus 1 is cannot be factorized further that means x value equals to 4 or you know the factors will be coming from only 1 and 2 and 4 so you can write down 1 cube 2 cube 3 cube 4 cube and you can check whether by supplying the values of value for c as 2 or 3 or 4 you can 1 or 2 or 4 you can check which one is satisfying then you can clearly see that 3 cube plus 4 cube plus 5 cube is 6 cube which gives us that least value of a equals to 6.